So your study guide key for unit four. So under the translation three two two five becomes five seven. Three the translation three two means three to the right and two up. So you add three to your x value and two to your y value. How can you tell whether or not it turns counterclockwise or clockwise? Positive rotations always turn counterclockwise and negative rotations always turn clockwise. A rule for the coordinate notation for transformation of two to the left and four, four up. To the left means negative, so it's gonna be negative two, and four means positive, so it's gonna be a positive four. Your three types of transformation are translation, rotation, and reflection. What's the difference between a pre-image and an image? The pre-image is the, the image before it's transformed, and the image is the new transform image after the transformation. On this one, you have a translation. Your notation is, oops, this has been translated four to the right and one down. This is a reflection and it's been reflected over your y-axis. And this one is a rotation, and that is oops, rotation of, let's see, 270 degrees. All right, your rule for reflecting your images over the line y equals x, every point a, b switches to the, becomes the point b, a, the x and y values switch. So negative four, six becomes six, negative four. Two, six becomes six, two, and four, one becomes one, four. Okay, remember when you're doing a composition that whatever comes first is actually closer, it actually is written second behind the circle. So this one is a reflection over the y-axis followed by a reflection over the x-axis. Okay, so when this one says following, so the x-axis is written first. On B, a translation three units to the left and four units down following Over the eye. This is the one that's actually being done first because this one is following the other one. Point D prime is the image of the point D06, so it went from D to D prime, you go back two and back nine. So if you have Apply that same transformation to the image of 5, 7. If it goes back to, it becomes negative, it becomes 3, and if negative 7 goes back 9, it goes to negative 16. On 10, the figure is translated negative, negative 9, 4, to, so to undo it, you need to take it positive 9, negative 4. Okay, this first one's rotational symmetry with all of those degrees of rotation. This second one is has rotational symmetry and lines of symmetry. So it has four lines of symmetry and it has rotational symmetry. That is wrong. Okay, this should be 90 degrees. 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. Sorry about that. 
This next one has two lines of symmetry and it has rotational symmetry of 180 degrees and 360 degrees. And this last one has no symmetry. A translation that maps xy onto x minus 5, y plus 3 means it's going back 5 and up 3. So if we apply that to this other point, if negative 3, 2, if we go back 5 and up 3, it goes into quadrant 2. If we start with this original figure and translate it over the first line, or wrote, sorry, translate it, reflect it over the first line and then reflect again, it's just a single translation. Across intersecting lines is rotational symmetry. We reflect the image over the y-axis that goes into the first quadrant, reflect again over the x-axis, goes into the third quadrant, and the single transformation that occurs there is a 180 degree rotation, just like the previous question, because those are two intersecting lines. Here on number 15, we are asked to rotate the following figure 90 degrees about point A, which is the origin, 0, 0, and says so make sure to label your image. Um, so since it doesn't give us a direction, we're going to assume that it's going to be counterclockwise, which is our normal way of rotating. So that means we're just going to go one quadrant this way. So since we're going 90 degrees, I'm going to go ahead and start by writing out our coordinates. So A is at 0, 0, the origin. B is at negative 1, 3. And then C is at negative 2, 1. So remember our rules for rotating 90 degrees. That means we're going to take the coordinates and then we switch them and then switch the sign of the first coordinate. So in this case, since A is at zero, zero, if I switch, it's still gonna be at zero, zero. B, if I switch, will be at negative three, negative one. And if I switch the sign of the first, it'd be at negative three, negative one. Same thing with C, if I switch them, I'm at one, negative two. Um, but then if I switch the sign of the first, I'm at negative one, negative two. So if I go ahead and plot those points, and make sure to mark them as A prime, B prime, and C prime, um, I'll get this triangle here down in quadrant three. Remember, we can always check and make sure that our, we have graphed these points correctly by drawing the lines from the points to the point of rotation, uh, in this case, making a 90 degree angle. So if I look here, if I draw the segments B to A, which is our point of rotation, and then B prime to um, the point, or point of rotation, I get that 90 degree angle, just proving that I did rotate my image correctly. Here on number 16, it asks us to find the degree of rotation about the spinner center, and that maps label or maps label three to label 10. So remember, the degree of rotation is the same thing as that angle of rotation. And so since I see that this is a regular figure, meaning all my sides um, and my interior angles are going to be the same. That means that if I draw all those lines, um, I get all these triangles, and they all are going to be congruent. So that means that angle has to be the same. So I know all the way around a circle is 360 degrees. And since there is 12 triangles here, if I count them all out, I got 12. And so if I take 360 divided by 12, I get 30 degrees. So that means here our degree of rotation is going to be 30 degrees. And so now all I need to do is think, well, how many triangles map uh, label three to label 10. And so if I do that, I can go ahead and count here. I am go one, two, three, four, five. And so I take 30 times five, and I get 150 degrees. And so the angle of the degree of rotation of a map three to 10 would be 150. Notice I'm counting the number of triangles as I go place to place not from point to point. Uh, this concludes the unit four study guide and you should review this and then you'll be ready to take your test. Good luck.